little more than four months ago, I made a video ranking every single gun in Survive.io from the worst to the best. So I am going to do that today once again, since I think my list from four months ago is at least a little bit outdated. I also have at least two minutes of gameplay for each and every gun in the game. So if you came just for the gameplay, you are still in luck. Just a heads up before I begin the video, these are all my opinions. So if you disagree, I encourage you to leave a comment down below. What are your favorite guns? What is your list? And how and why am I wrong? I'm gonna kick this list off with number 28, the M9. Now, I really hate the M9. Personally, I would take fists over using the M9. The DPS is really low. You have to click really fast, especially when you dual wield these. And it's really not even worth picking up. At number 27, we have the OT38. It's a little bit better than the M9. It's actually accurate. If you have a shotgun with it, then you can shoot them two times and finish them off with the uh, OT38. Unlike with the M9, where you're gonna have to spam click and you may not even hit them. At number 26, we have the UMP9. It is a burst rifle and it's really not that good it's effective somewhat in mid range but in close range it's going to be outdone by shotguns and fully automatic guns and in long range it just doesn't have that precise accuracy and dps needed to win the battles at number 25 we have the mp5 it is an automatic gun but it doesn't have high dps or great accuracy it's kind of like the ump9 it's effective in mid range but not really in long range or short range making it overall a mediocre gun to be using at number 24 we have the m 39 EMR, it's a DMR, and it is semi-automatic. The M39 is not very good. It has a very, very long range, but other than that, it's pretty mediocre. You have to click each time you fire, obviously, because it's semi-automatic, and the damage per second is not very high, making it ineffective in close range. At number 23, we have the MK12 SPR. It is basically the same thing as the M39, so I'm not going to say it all over again, but the only difference is the damage per second is a little higher, as well as the firing rate. At number 22, we have the FAMAS. It is a burst rifle, just like the UMP9. It has a little better DPS, a little better range, and a little better accuracy than the UMP9. The thing I don't like about the FAMAS is that it is a burst rifle and the thing about burst rifles are they're really hard to play with because you have to be very accurate with all three of your bullets. At number 21 we have the M416. It is not too good but it is not too bad. It is an automatic gun which I like but it has mediocre DPS, mediocre accuracy, and mediocre range compared to the other automatic guns in the game of Survive.io. At number 20 we have the AK-47. It's a little bit better than the M416 just because it's a little more accurate and it has a little bit farther of a range. On the contrary, it does a little bit less DPS, but in my opinion, that isn't as important as the range and the accuracy. At number 19, we have the DP28. It is actually an LMG, which gives it an interesting twist compared to the other guns. The thing I like about LMGs are that they have that big range for taking out squads, for taking out multiple people on one mag, and for doing all that sort of stuff and for this reason i like the dp28 on the contrary its dps is very very low and it's also not very good in close range just because of that low dps the number 18 spot goes to the mh70 which is a shotgun i love shotguns in survive.io in my opinion they are the most overpowered class in the game right now the M870, however, is definitely the worst of the shotguns for one reason, and that is because there is a pause between each shot, including a movement pause where you'll go really slow and you'll be vulnerable to your opponents. For this reason, I think that the M870 is not good, but you can always counter this disadvantage by quick switching to your other gun. Number 17 goes to the M93R, that is the pistol in case you're not aware, and this gun is not that great on its own. It does burst fires of three bullets, but it does them very, very fast, almost like an automatic gun. It basically has a stream of bullets going out of the gun. But the reason I ranked this pistol so high for a pistol is because when you dual wield these guns, it is basically double glocks. These things give so much DPS out. Out at close range in fact they give out 258 dps which is absolutely insane that is why i rate this gun so high because when you are in a building you are set 
At number 16, we have the flare gun. The flare gun is hard to place because it's not like the other weapons that like you kill people with. You call an airdrop with a flare gun. So I decided to put it around here because you do attract people towards you, which gives you battles. And thus, if you win them, you get some loot. But on the contrary, you have to drop your gun, load the flare gun, shoot the flare gun, and pick up your other gun. So it can be an inconvenience and sometimes you were wishing someone else had done it for you. At number 15, we have the Moisen Nagant. It is the first real sniper on this list. I'm not talking about semi-automatic DMRs. I'm talking about real snipers with one bullet that shoots super fast at their opponent to deal a lot of damage. The reason I don't like the Moisen as much as the other snipers in the game is because the Moisen only deals 72 damage per bullet, which isn't that much, but it also reloads bullets independently, making it take longer to actually get that mag on full. One thing I would like to note about snipers like the Mosin Nagant and some future snipers coming up such as the SV-98 is that these guns require you to quick switch if you don't want that extremely slow cooldown like you get with the MH-70. If you do not quick switch with a sniper like this, you will not be able to use this gun effectively. At number 14, we have the Glocks, and no, I am not talking about the single Glock, which is okay, but not great. I am talking about the dual Glocks, which have the highest DPS in the game. No matter where you are, as long as you are in close range with the dual Glocks, you will more than likely beat your opponent. The only thing that makes these bad is the fact that the spread is so wide that you will not be able to shoot more than a tiny length with the dual Glocks. At number 13, we have the M1 Garon. It is a lot like the MK12 and the M39, but it is better for a couple reasons. First of all, it reloads much faster than both of those guns, but more importantly, its DPS is a lot higher, making this gun much more dangerous to your opponent. At number 12, we have the Spas 12, and the Spas 12 is one one of the most interesting guns in the game. The Spas 12 is like a shotgun. It has the shots of a shotgun, uses shotgun ammo, and is classified as a shotgun. But one thing that separates it from the other shotguns is its range, which is almost double that of a regular shotgun. And the reason I think this is really cool is you can actually fight mid-range with the Spas 12 and do decent damage with each shot. It it does do less damage than the regular shotgun does with its bullets, but I still think it's different and sometimes better for that longer range that it has. At number 11, we have one of my personal favorites, the MAC-10. The MAC-10 is so good in close range. It has a DPS of about 205, which is insane. It's good for close range as well as mid range. Even though it has a pretty large spread, you can still get quite a bit of damage at someone in a mid range battle. The only thing I would not use the MAC 10 for is long range. And this sometimes puts people in an awkward situation because they oftentimes want a shotgun and a long range gun, leaving the MAC 10 out of the picture. At number 10, we have the MP220. It's a shotgun, as you guys know. It's a double pump, meaning you can shoot it twice before reloading, but. Both of those bullets do quite a bit of damage, giving you a DPS of 560. That is actually insane. I don't know if that's higher than the double Glocks. It might be. I'm not really sure. I'll have to check up on that. But I do know that it's super high. And if you shoot twice with this shotgun, land both shots, and finish them off with an AR, you will kill them in no time. At number 9, we have the Desert Eagle. Personally, I'm not a huge fan of the Desert Eagle, but there are a few reasons why the Desert Eagle is really good. First of all, its DPS is really high. It's almost 220 for a single pistol, which is absolutely insane. It also has really good accuracy. As long as you are good at aiming, you should hit your opponent with the Desert Eagle. But lastly, you can dual wield Desert Eagles. It's really rare, don't get me wrong, but when you find two Desert Eagles on one map, you have a DPS of 291. That is absolutely insane. At number 8, we have the Scar-H. It is basically the brother of the AK-47, but it is much better than the AK-47, at least in my opinion. It has 20 bullets per mag, but it is super accurate, and it has a very high DPS, especially for an automatic gun. That is why I put this gun at number 8, and is why I think this gun is super good, even in long range. 
the number seven spot goes to the QBB97. This gun is insane. It's an LMG that holds 75 bullets. And the main reason I think it's so good is because it has a relatively high DPS. It has a very long range and it can shoot 75 bullets straight without even reloading. The number six spot goes to another sniper, the SV-98. It is similar to the Mosin, but is better than the Mosin for a couple of reasons. First of all, it does more damage with every bullet. So, when you fire this gun, you are dealing 80 damage on your opponent rather than 72 with the Mosin. It also reloads on a single mag and has 10 bullets per mag. So, you can shoot this gun 10 times before reloading them all back into your gun in less than three seconds. I would also like to note that the SV-98 has the highest range in the game of 520, which makes this gun insane if you have an eight or a 15 times scope. At number five, we have the M4A1 Suppressed. This is the Suppressed AR that is the newest gun as of now in Surviv.io. It's really good. It's really accurate. The bullets are hard to see, which is a unique feature to this gun. It also has 30 bullets per mag, which seems mediocre, but the DPS is really high, the accuracy is great, the range is high, and overall, it is just a good gun. At number 4, we have the Vector, which is, in my opinion, the improved form of the MAC-10. It actually has a less DPS, but I will get to why that is in a second. The, the Vector is much more accurate than the MAC-10, and the MAC-10 spread is obviously pretty wide. So the Vector, even though it has less DPS, really has more because it's so accurate that every one of those bullets is pretty much gonna hit your opponent if you're accurate, which makes this gun absolutely insane in close range and in mid range. At number three, we have the best shotgun in the game, the Saiga 12. This shotgun has a mag load of five, meaning you can shoot five times before you have to reload the shotgun, which is completely insane for a shotgun because each of these shotgun bullets do 112 damage alone. That means in close range, you can deal over 500 damage total with this shotgun. Completely insane. It will completely wipe out your opponent and you will certainly win wherever you are, assuming you're within the range of the Saiga. At number two, we have the all-powerful LMG, the M249. It has a mag size of 100 bullets, which is the main reason this gun is so freaking good. Its DPS is also super high, and I'm talking about on a basis with other guns firing at the same time. But it fires like five times as long as all those other guns, so you can completely mow them down even after they've started reloading their gun again. That's why this gun is so good. You can actually take multiple people out with it at once, and yeah, there's just, it's just good. And finally, the number one spot goes to the AWM. It is actually insane. It has a mag load of five, and each one of those bullets does 180 damage. It's a sniper, just like the SV-98 and the Mosin. The only difference is these bullets do more than double the damage that the SV-98 and the Mosin's bullets do, making this gun absolutely insane. You can one-shot most of your opponents, and if you can't, they're an easy two-shot. One thing about the AWM, and it uses its own subset of ammo, which is called subsonic ammo. It's dark green, so you can't use any of the regular ammos with it. So you gotta be careful when you use it, because you're probably only gonna get 15 bullets total to use with the AWM. Anyways, that'll do it. I encourage you guys to leave a like. I worked very hard on this video. Even if you disagree with some of the rankings, instead of disliking, leave your opinions down below. I would actually like to hear them so that I can improve on myself, and I can try out some of your good gun suggestions. This is Seth, this from the future. That's right, I just edited this whole video. Peace!